what issues and challenges do they have around content? Yeah, well, the question is, do they have enough? Do they have content at all in some cases? And how is that content performing? The Edelman study that I talked about before is a really good one from 2021, because something that is kind of fundamentally changed through the pandemic is that lots more people are putting things into LinkedIn and onto social. And that doesn't mean that the buyers are not looking at it, but they are feeling some sort of fatigue over the amount of content that's out there. So by putting out schlocky pieces of content that really don't hit the mark, those pieces of content now are being ignored. And so the bar has been raised to create better content that moves and performs better online. So you ask yourself, okay, what's going to perform better online? And you look at kind of a search engine generation, I'm going to call it, where people are asking common questions, answering the simple questions that your customers ask, which is, in your industry, what are the biggest competitors? How do they rate? What are the prices? What are the common problems that people see? So by getting after that essential content, that's really where you want to play. And even if you don't have the ability to create long form versions and videos and podcasts about each one of those things, even if that is out of your budget, by creating just a short blog or something that can be pointed to that's going to bring them onto your web property for a conversion and then using social to sort of pull them in from these questions, that is an absolutely awesome way to basically take your content, conserve it and your resources and conserve them in order to do the most you can to attract prospects.